Hey guys, Plasma1945, and it was a glorious splash of a bandit. And yes, indeed, that was a Mach 5 missile, or at least for a little bit of its flight time. Now, we can officially call that a hypersonic missile because anything over Mach 5 is hypersonic. Not quite as fast as Tom Cruise, but still pretty darn quick. So, which planes can deliver hypersonic missile shot? Well, in DCS, it's set up so that missiles have a maximum speed, which means that it's actually baked in as fast as a missile can go. So, for example, you should subscribe as quick as you can to this channel and hit like and such, but a Mach 4.5 missile is what an AIM-120 can do, and an ER, when fired at a high speed, can do about Mach 5, 5.1. So, you see me taxing out here on Growling Sidewinder, I've got a couple of 73s, a couple of ECM pods, and two R2070Rs. The reason I went for this configuration is because I want to be as light as possible, this was going to be a quick flight, I think there was only about 20 minutes left in the server time to do this. So, standard issue takeoff, you know, speed up, get to the skies, and start flying. The other nice thing about doing a flight like this is that you're super light, and you are super quick, so you're able to get to those launch parameters to launch really fast. So takeoff, there's our two 2070Rs, two 73s for close-up, and some ECM pods. What the hell is that behind me? Uh, that's a MiG-29, what is he doing? What's... That is not a standard maneuver. Um, okay, so he's dead. So you guys, let's, let's rewind and watch what the hell happened there. All right, here we go. We got a taxi out. Let's give this guy some music. He needs some inspiration here. Canopy's open. He's got some missiles. Hopefully, he's got his damper set up. Uh, it's a MiG-29, growling sidewinder. I will give him props. He has managed to taxi out without weeble wobbling. He is maybe a brother from another mother here. All right, full gate takeoff. Uh, dude, close your canopy. Close your canopy. Close your canopy. You need the canopy? No, okay. He does not need a canopy. He is going uh, convertible. Good acceleration, a little bit of skidding there. Looking good. Pull up, oh, 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 okay. Parts of the tail is now missing. Uh, going over the top. Gear is busted, inverted. Good, full gate, full afterburner, full loss of control. I will give him props for crashing into the field and not into a civilian-filled building. Well done, pilot. Well, that was dramatic. Okay, so let's get back to our flight here. So, 2070Rs, 273s, and two ECM pods. As soon as I'm up in the air, I am now jamming right away so that enemies cannot launch lofting missiles at me. Because Amrams can get pretty quick, so can Phoenixes. But if you're jamming, missiles won't loft at you from the enemy side. Very important to take those ECM pods. Now we're going to put this flanker to maximum capability. And you can achieve this with a full missile loadout. You just need a lot more time to build up your speed to get to approximately Mach 1.6 or Mach 1.7 at around 34,000 feet, aka about 10,000 meters. And here's why. I'm going full gate, full afterburn. You can just see my speed picking up as I climb through here. I'm going to level out around 6,500 meters for a little bit and pick up additional speed. Most important thing is to punch through that supersonic barrier. So if you look on your flanker speed gauge, you want to get over that Mach 1.1 and then after that it's going to be gravy. So very gentle slope after about 6,000 meters, about 18,000 feet and just continuing to climb full afterburner. I don't have too many missiles. I am super light and super quick. Now, because my jammers are on, enemy aircraft have trouble locking me and lofting missiles on me, unless they launch them home, home on jam, but an AIM-120 will not loft and get extra altitude if you're jamming. So we've got some bandits on the right side, and this is a bit of a tricky situation because although I'm picking up speed and going pretty quick here, starting to push up to Mach 1.3, 1.5 almost, there's quite a bit of bandits out there and uh, not a lot of friendly, so this is always, always, always a challenge. You have to pick your battles when you're flying in the super light configuration like this, especially without a wingman. If there was a couple of fighters here, a couple of flankers, you'd be in a whole different ballpark. But uh, let's find a target and take a shot at him. High PRF mode, low PRF mode, changing those around. Got some jamming targets and there we go, we've got a target. That is coming in high on our nose. Let's lock him up and turn in for a shot. 
This is a venerable F-18. He's about the same altitude as me. He's about 10,000 meters, about uh, 33, 34,000 feet. And he is heading for his doom. There's launch authorization and Fox 1. Let's watch this in missile cam mode. Oh, it's so pretty. Roll over. Fox 1. And there goes the glorious 27ER. I'll have a tack view after this hit here, and you guys will actually be able to see it hit Mach 5. Now, I've launched at approximately, I think I'm about Mach 1.6, 1.7. We'll catch that in the tack view. And, uh... Yeah, that, uh, that guy's in trouble. He realizes there's a launch in him, tries to go into a notch. He is dropping chaff, but I've got him in a steady lock. He is trying to break my lock. Very good move on the behalf of the F-18, but he's not quite hitting those 90s, and I'm also maneuvering as well because I've got a crap ton. Yes, a metric crap ton of bandits coming in towards me. Never a good thing to have that many bandits coming at you. He's leveling out. Missile is still tracking, missile is still doing Mach 2. This guy has no chance. He's trying to go as fast as he can, but the 27ER with the amount of energy he's got, it's not letting him get away. Little mistake here, he starts trying to turn into a missile, he's trying to notch it, but no avail. There comes the missile, super slow motion, kablamo. Goodbye F-18. It was a pleasure flying with you, but... Uh Plasma wins, and that is how you super fast flanker at Mach 5. So, let's watch this down the tack view. Here's the launch. The missile's on its way, and it's speeding up. It's passing through Mach 5 right there, and check out the parameter of my plane. So, I think it was about Mach 1.5, 1.7 at that launch. He's trying to drop flares. He's trying to jam. He's trying to do whatever he can. He's launched an AIM-120 back at me. That thing is slow as dirt. I'm maintaining lock, but I've actually already rolled out. So I've actually gone left, and I'm keeping him on the very edge of my gimbal. He's just off the edge of my gimbal. And there's a bit of pucker factor here because I do have missiles on me. So I'm like, do I turn away and drop it, or do I just keep going? Do I turn away or drop it, or do I keep going? I decided to stick it out and uh, trust the missile. Trusting the missile. The lock is still there. The missile's on him. He's dropping his chaff. Sorry, buddy. That's not going to work. And there's a splash. Boom. That is high flanker at high speed, high altitude, and launch Mach 5 missile skies. Give it a try. Let me know if this works out for you. Now, if you're sticking around here still, you're going to watch Plasma get splashed here. So, there is a crap ton of bandits on my nose. And yes, I am going to use that term uh, profusely here. I'm not sure why, but now it's stuck in my brain. So, I think I've got four or five bandits uh, coming in from my 2 o'clock. I'm fast, but as you can see, I'm trying to do a very gentle rollout. I've got missiles on me, but they're not really gaining. I'm watching my RWR, and I'm actually speeding this up 1.5 times. That's what's a bit jerkier. But if you watch my G-meter, that's the dial on the top row, left-hand side. My turn is fairly gentle to ensure that I'm not bleeding off speed. And I'm pushing for Mach 2 right now. In theory, at this speed, I can outrun almost anything and almost everything. Except unless somebody gets an F-16, drops all his tanks, and decides to chase me down. And this is exactly what's happening. I'm leveling out, checking if missiles are gaining on me. And yeah, there's missiles behind me, but they're definitely not gaining. Their signal strength is pretty weak. There's another launch on me, so there's just missiles coming right at me. I believe in the flank, or I believe in the speed. I've got tons of fuel. The proper behavior here for plasma would be to extend out. Unfortunately, that is not what I do. I decided to turn in and take a shot on this fast guy that's chasing me. Start a left-hand turn, which means that he is now getting closure on me for a missile shot into my butt. I believe the term for this is the bandit collecting turn. I'm still very fast. I'm pushing Mach 2.1 maybe, 2.2, pretty quick here. Still nice and high, but this guy on my tail is also very fast. As you can see in the data link, he's actually speeding up. What I was hoping to do is to complete my turn and fire on him, but he's closing, and there's a launch. So let's watch this F-16. He just dropped his tanks. He's carrying six AM-120s, I think, and I'm in quite a bit of trouble. There's his Fox 3, and here comes the missile. Missile is tracking. My only hope at this point is that I'm either going to be fast enough to run the energy down on the missile or to be able to notch its warhead. 
Here it comes, and there's the notch. Missile goes over the top and does not get the solution on me at the last second. There's that move right there. So I turn away, missile flies right over the top of me, and I decide to turn back in. Unfortunately, there's a second missile on me. So I was getting a rear aspect notification that there was a missile behind me. That's the missile that I just evaded. But there's this other AIM-120 coming right for me. This is not a good day for plasma. So you see the missiles behind me on the RWR. Look in the bottom right-hand corner. I roll back in, and there's a missile on my left. <laughs> and watch it in super slow motion just behind me as it's going to smack me here. Oof. And that is all it wrote, or I wrote. Anyhow, there you go, guys. That is Plasma 1945, flying around like a maniac, exploding, tumbling, catching fire, but also firing a Mach 5 hypersonic missile. And you can do it too. So I recommend grabbing a nice light loadout, going real fast, and uh, having extreme patience and extreme trust in your missiles. Also make sure you don't get splashed before your missile hits because otherwise you're going to be in a lot of trouble. And this works with the ETs and the 73s too. Plasma 1945 is out and you guys fly safe. You